Hi guys, welcome to Easy Eatery. As you can see, I have very little counter space in my kitchen, but you know what, I make it work. I made this noodle board a little while ago, and I am going to turn this into a great big, huge charcuterie board filled with lots and lots of taco things. So let's go put it together. Just gonna make our camper according to our package directions. Just use some onions, some garlic, and some seasoning. And we're just gonna go ahead and just get that all nice and browned up. Once it's browned up, let's add our um, taco seasoning to it. Of course, we gotta drain it. And then we'll add our taco seasoning to it. I'm just using some Taco Bell one and follow the directions and it is done. Chicken is even more simple. I'm using some frozen chicken breast and I'm just gonna add in some salsa, some um, herde salsa. I love that stuff. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that on our um, in our pressure cooker. And we're gonna cook it up for 16 minutes and it's gonna turn out just like this. For my last protein, I'm gonna add some shrimp to it. So I'm um, just gonna add some shrimp with some olive oil and a bunch of different little seasonings. And I will have everything listed in the description box below. I'm using some frozen already cooked shrimp. However, you can get any kind that you want to. And I'm gonna put this in the air fryer this time. So just gonna go ahead and mix everything all together and um, transfer that. I'm gonna use my Aki Home um, air fryer because it has the bottom on it that doesn't have the crisper. So um, you can just put, like, put it in a, um, uh, baking dish or whatever that goes into your um, into your air fryer as well. So we're gonna put them in at 400 degrees for just six minutes and they will be completely done and looking just like this. Took a can of refried beans and just added a little bit of Tabasco to it and a little bit of cheese. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave and we're just gonna go ahead and um, put them in, in at one minute intervals and just stir it in between until it's completely warmed all the way through. For the easiest Spanish rice, this is delicious, you guys. All you do is vent it. You just put a little two-inch slit in there and you put it in the microwave for a minute and a half. It's done. And voila, there is our, our rice and our beans. And I warmed up some tortillas in the oven at 350 and some foil for just a few minutes. Added some salsa and some chips and some tacos. And I did a whole lot of chopping. There is our protein over there on the side. Of course, we have to add some lemons and limes. Look at all the chopping. Oh my goodness, we have tomatoes, we have peppers, we have lettuce, we have cabbage. Cabbage goes really, really well with the shrimp. And the taco shells, I, those are just pre-packaged. I just threw those in for a few minutes in the oven. So that is it. I mean, we still have holidays coming up. I mean, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. What sweetheart wouldn't enjoy something like this? I mean, I certainly would. I would be like floored if my, well, if I had one, my sweetheart made something like this for me. Plus, you know what? We have football games. We have Super Bowl coming up. I mean, oh my goodness, who wouldn't go bananas? Just, oh my gosh major major like you would you scored if your team didn't score so anyway you scored major points by making this and nobody would know all of the shortcuts that we took so anyway that is it thank you so much for joining me today i really appreciate it if you're new to my channel please subscribe and please give the video a thumbs up if you like to see this kind of content because i certainly enjoy making it and um, i really enjoy showing you all those little simple shortcuts as well so thank you again i'll see you in the next one bye bye now